I want to go over a way to pass data from an ASP.NET MVC view to the master page. And what I'm using here for my particular applications is when I'm passing data from a controller to the views, I'm using what's called the iType Instance Dictionary. And the Type Instance Dictionary is a little utility library that I've written that basically is a dictionary of types. And you can find out more about this. I have another video called A, a Way to Pass Data from an ASP.NET MVC Controller to the View. You can also check out, get some more information on wiki.thethoughtfulcoder.com. And the source code is hosted up on GitHub. So the T you can look up the TTT tools to basically get a bit more information about this. But the basic idea is, is that from my controllers to my views, I'm typing the model on the view to this iType Instant Dictionary, which is basically just a collection of types. You could do the same thing with the view data, that is the default mechanism to pass data from a ASP.NET MVC controller to the view, and the same principle would work. Basically, the idea is, in my master page, you can see that I'm checking my model, I'm checking to see if it contains this type. And what this type is, if I go to the definition of the interface, it's just a string with a property that's body ID. And what I'm trying to actually do here in this little scenario is, I want to set the ID on the body element in my web pages. And what this ID is going to do, it's going to drive the styling of the page. And in this case, I'm just setting the background color of this div that is of class page. So you can look at the, the CSS real quick. You can see I have, if the body ID is default, it styles, it sets the background color to sort of this bluish. If the body ID is about, it's for the page CSS class, it's going to set the background color to red. So basically the body ID, by setting this from the view, it's going to drive the styling on this, the background of this particular div. So in this particular case, this is not something that I would want to be coming through or set in the controller. You know, there's many times where you just have things that are display oriented that may be set to one thing or another. And many times it is driven by setting IDs or classes or that type of thing on HTML elements. And sometimes you want to drive that from the view to set things on the master page. So the way this is accomplished is in my master page, I'm basically setting up and adding this interface into the model. And then you'll notice there's this content placeholder in the master page. I call it site master initialization content placeholder. And then what I do, and where I'm going to override this is actually in my about page, just as an example, I go ahead and place a content control. The content placeholder ID is the site master initialization content placeholder. And this is a spot for me to insert some code. And what I do here is I actually get out from the type instance dictionary that's going to be set on the model from the controller. I go ahead and set the body ID and I set it to about. That way, the basic flow is, and, and this is true in general with an, AS, with an MVC uh, views, is the code will go, as it's executing, it'll go ahead and execute this code. Then when you hit the content placeholders, the flow of execution actually goes into all the code contained in any content that is basically filling in for this content placeholder. So as the code goes, as the flow of control goes through this code, then it's going to flow through down into here, execute this code, then I'll pop back up and go on down the page and continue executing the code. So let, let me set some breakpoints just to show this real quickly. So I'll go ahead and set a breakpoint right here. I'm going to go into the About page. I'm going to go ahead and set a breakpoint here down in the About page. And then I'll go ahead and set a breakpoint here as well. Um, oh, it says it's not a valid location, so it's not picking it up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and debug and also show uh, basically what happens here. So l let me just show the actual output. So by default on the index page, you can see that the background of that one div is this bluish. If I go to the about page, you're going to see that the background color is now this red. And that's that's the basic 
uh, idea here is for the home page it's going to be blue and for the about page this is going to be red and again this particular part of the page is being rendered by the master page but I'm driving the styling of it from the actual views that use the master page so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and debug through this and show what happens so what I tend to actually like to do is I like to attach to process so I'm gonna go ahead and attached to the um, the dev web server and when I go back here and I refresh on the about page what you're going to see is so I go ahead and I hit this breakpoint I'm in the master page and you can see as I step over I'm going to go ahead and add in uh, default implementation for the I master page view data and it defaults the body ID to default and then you can see it hit the content placeholder and now I'm overriding in the about view I'm overriding the body ID and setting it to about and so then when I pop back out when you actually look at the body ID go ahead and refresh it you can see that its value is about and that's how I you know it's not passing data per se it's somewhat indirect but it is a way to get data from your view and get it set back into your master page so your view can override things like say the body ID or what have you so I'll go ahead and run it and then you can see you know there's that red background and again that was set from the view basically setting it back on the master page so so this isn't necessarily the, a perfect mechanism I'm sure there's other ways that may be better um, Again, I'm using the um, iType instance dictionary in this case to type the model on my uh, views, but you could also use view data as well and use the same mechanism. So hopefully, hopefully I've explained this well enough so that you can understand it enough to use it in practice and give it a try and see if you like doing it this way. Um, so hope this helps out. Take care. Um, happy coding.